favorite products of 2016, you guys. Oh my gosh, I have so many products. Uh, my favorite, of course, is the um, Shea Moisture Shampoo Retention Shampoo. Um, I love the Cream of Nature. Um, I think it's Moisture Shampoo, as well as their conditioner that goes with it. Um, I am still loving the and using the TGIN Honey Miracle Mask. Um, I'm no longer using the Jane Carter's Leave-In um, Conditioner. I have replaced it and I'm using the Design Essentials Coconut and Manoe Coconut Water Curl Refresher. You guys, this stuff works. It feels a lot better. Um, it isn't as dry as when I used to just moisturize my hair with water or not saying that Jane Carter's solution was drying to my hair. But there are some ingredients in this product that just makes my hair feel a whole lot better. I'm also um, pairing it with the Eden Body Works. Um, I'll leave a picture. I forgot the exact name. Um, um, and some castor oil. This year, I also traveled to Vegas, you guys. It was one of my goals or vacation spots that I always wanted to go back to and enjoy. Um, we did it for, we went to Vegas for seven days. That was a personal goal of me because I wanted to get so tired of Vegas because I didn't want to go back or get on a plane to go back. Um, so I wanted to just have a great time. So we were able to accomplish that. If you guys are interested in that trip or, um, or any suggestions on the tickets and the hotel deals, whatever, um, I'll leave the link right here. That way you guys can follow that. If you guys are interested on, um, interested in any deals or anything like that lashes you guys yes I am still rocking my individual lashes I get these retouched every um, four weeks um, they became a part of me it's something that I, I really don't want to pay for but I signed up for membership and um, I'm under contract now uh, I love them I really do I, I do and um, I'm going to just share. I love them. I really do. They became like a part of me and they look so natural. I get compliments on them all the time or, or I always get people like doing a double stare at me. So I, I love them. Um, I, I'll have to keep them up. Um, we'll talk about it next year if I renew my contract, but I, I love them. Individual lashes, you guys. Ooh, I've been wearing them now for maybe about five to six months. Um, parting twists, parting method for yarn twists, mini twists. I do have a, a video on that that I created this year. I received, that's what like one of the most popular questions that I receive is how do you part your hair? I, I struggle with parting my hair. Um, let me share with you guys the comb that I use. To get the cleanest parts, I use this part of the comb. Um, it's so easy to part and to navigate in your hair to create the most cleanest parts ever. Um, I think it's only probably about a dollar at your local beauty supply store. It doesn't cost that much at all, but that's what I use to part my hair. And the tutorial is here and I'll leave that link up here for those that are interested in it. Um, I am rocking a flat twist out. Um, I do have a video on how to flat twist and my flat twist out results. It's one of my signature styles, one of my favorite styles. And um, I love it. It's very, it's very I won't say in my opinion, it's easy to do because I know you guys always complain about how to flat twist and the actual technique. 
um, but just make sure that you practice with it. Um, I always recommend this is always buy one of those door mirrors. Um, I got mine at Target for about $14. You will have a door mirror and then you have your bathroom mirror, the mirror that you have in front of you and use that, those mirrors right here as your guide to navigate and to, um, so you can actually see all angles of your hair, um, your finger placement, your wrist placement, your hand placement, all that. You'll be able to view that and kind of actually visualize. I mean, I'm a visual learner, so I suggest that so that you can visualize how you need to twist or you may need to bring your arm like this. I know it's kind of um, crazy, um, but if you're a visual person like me, then you kind of you understand what what I'm coming from you guys as well now I did post a video on things that I dislike about my hair you guys my hair isn't great all the time I hate when people come on here I won't say the word hate I dislike when people come on here to give you guys like this facade sometimes um, our hair not just our texture but hair doesn't always turn out great all the time and sometimes we have to wear certain styles in our hair in order for our hair to set so i can wear styles like this and sometimes when though i have to rock those styles wear those styles i can't stand them so what's wrong with me coming on here to let you guys know what i don't like I, people had a problem with that video too oh well shit. <laughs> so no i do not moisturize my hair with water anymore I uh, replace water with this. I do a moisturizer and seal with the oil. For my hair, you guys, with cream of nature color. Um, I said I wasn't going to do that. In my last update last year, I said I was not going to touch color, you guys, but I had way too many grays. So I wound up touching uh, my hair with that. Um, I do have a few grays around my hairline. I mean, they're not really, really bad, but there's a few grays there. Um, I'm not going to chase my grays. I'm, if they if they grow in, hey, I'm gonna let them grow in. I'm not gonna continuously put color on my hair. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I do. I would suggest that I may try. And someone mentioned this to me a few years ago when I said I wanted to color my hair, but I never did. They uh, suggested a ma hair mascara, so I'm definitely going to uh, pick that up um, in the future. Not right now. Um, in order to just cover the grays around my hairline. Um, what else? I'm going through Respect the Butterfly, you guys. Written, written by my mom, Dr. Valicia Hughes. And um, it empowers women and coach women to discover who they are and um, clarify what they want out of life. And I believe sometimes we all go through that stump and we need um clarification or um redirection at times so if you guys are going through that in your life or you know someone that is or, or if you just want to purchase the book and share it with someone because i know that we all get kind of in this little phase here and there and we need redirection you know so um definitely check that book out I'll leave the link up here so you guys can purchase your copy um braces yes so if you guys are wondering why I am slurring my words if I'm talking a little funny yes you guys braces I've had these braces on since October 26 it's been about over a year over a month now I do have my um, follow-up appointment tomorrow November 30th with my orthodontist cannot wait um, my teeth, you guys, it looks a whole lot better than what I started with. I'll definitely leave um, some progress pictures and videos so you guys can kind of see the transformation so far. Um, the estimate time for my braces is 18 months. I do not know if I'm going to, um, if my orthodontist may suggest a shorter, um, I don't know if he's going to suggest a shorter time frame. I have no idea, but I mean, my teeth especially the bottom you guys I had a lot of crowding and it's I okay that looks great the top it's, it's you know it's not as you know clean and crisp as it is at the bottom um but you guys 
so far great progress if you guys are interested in that i'll leave the link up here as well where i talk about my initial consultation um the treatment plan cost um oh my gosh spacers when i had to deal with wearing spacers my molar band my braces itself um, different changes and, and adjustments that I had to make, um, in my life in order to make this, this journey a, a smooth one. <laughs> um, let's Um, the last video that I did um, is my blowout for June 2016 versus November 2016. So you guys can kind of see the progress in my growth and length retention. Um, oh yeah, how to remove a knot on wet hair. Um, yo, removing knots, you guys, I struggle with that here and there sometimes, but just always be patient, be gentle, don't rip your hair, don't pull it out. Um, I always suggest to remove knots on wet, damp hair, add a little bit more product if you need some more conditioner, a little bit more product if you need some more conditioner in your hair, add some more conditioner in your hair in order to fill the knot, guide the strands from the knot so they can unloose. Hair goals, I can't wait until my hair is shoulder length after doing a twist out on wet hair. That has always been my hair goal. Um, I can't wait to grow my crown out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this recap of 2016. You guys, I know that 
we've been through a lot this year, a lot of changes, a lot of updates. Um, I always want and I always suggest you guys to always document your journey. If you're going through a fitness journey, a hair growth journey, whatever journey you're going through your life, always document it. So that way you can always see changes in progress. Anytime if you feel that you're going through a stump or a plateau, um, always go back and, and look at your, your journey and see how far you've came. Because anytime you think that you've hit a plateau or, or something just stopped and paused. I mean, there's growth. There's growth without even you knowing. Um, be blessed and be a blessing to others, you guys. And I want to thank you guys for continuously supporting my channel. On here, I want you guys to have fun with your natural hair. I mean, wear protective styles. You know, um, embrace your hair. Embrace your journey. Don't compare your journey to my journey or someone else's journey. Your journey is your own, okay? I've been natural seven years. My hair isn't as long as most naturals at seven years, but I've been through a few setbacks. I've gotten scissor happy. I've had heat damage. You know, I've gone through some things, and I'm here to talk about those things and share those things with you guys. So if you guys are going through those issues or going through those similar journeys, you know, we can discuss that. We can talk about that. Um, so I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and I, um, hope you guys have, have a continued blessed week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.